very interesting question and it will take all that you have to come out with a cogent, logical and an ethical approach and answer. I would proceed in this way that the post process of interview and appointment is a very sacred aspect of appointments and the government policy of free, fair and transparent recruitment cannot be compromised. At the same time, the MLAs and the representatives of the people have a place in society and they have also a role to bring about and put up the cases of deserving candidates. But that does not necessarily mean that it can impinge upon the selection process. It is only in respect that the best candidate being eligible is one thing and being worthy of selection is entirely another. As you can see, that most of the candidates writing the civil service ex examination are eligible, but not necessarily worthy of selection. Worthy of selection has to be a total on the basis of meritocracy. I would say, if on the standards she may be eligible, very good. But if she qualifies on a free and a fair and an impartial assessment that she's eligible for appointment, so be it. And if she does not, there is a moral duty also as an Indian, as a public servant, and my commitment to the cause of the nation and the cause of the martyrs, that whatever I can do, scenario A, that she makes it on her own merit and qualifies, apart from being eligible, she's also worthy of qualification. Then the chapter ends, she qualifies. Second, that she does not qualify. She's eligible, but she does not qualify. Then I will take recourse to whatever measures and whatever I can do in my own small way, request the MLA. You have the option that you are able to adjust this candidate on some other vacancies because where there is a will, there is a way. Taking advice of my superior is not an option that I would exercise generally because the government or has absorbed me for a purpose and running for help and advice at the drop of a hat is not a good reflection on me also, unless there is a crisis. This is not a crisis. This is something that I need to solve myself. The buck stops at my table. Therefore, although I have the option of going to my superior, I will generally do so only in very, very compelling circumstances. Under these circumstances, my duty is to ensure a fair, transparent, and an absolutely error-proof selection of the best candidate based on merits only and also on the recruitment policy of the government. Second, since the MLA himself has made a request of an eligible candidate and also a candidate that deserves all consideration being the spouse of a martyr, whatever I can do in my own small way with the help of my superior, with the MLA and myself, I will make all out efforts to see that this martyr spouse is absorbed. Thank you.